is a relatively new term for a phenomenon that's been around for ages. Heat in the summer is nothing new, and for people across the country, it's just a daily part of life. But when that heat becomes excessive for extended periods of time, it's called a heat dome. Where this sets up, it gets very hot, obviously, and the position of the ridge itself blocks any cold fronts trying to work their way southward from Canada, run into that heat dome, and are deflected around the heat dome into another part of the country. So the source of cooling from the north and northwest is blocked off. Daily rounds of rain and storms are often ways to cool temperatures in the summer, but those are more difficult to generate under a heat dome. The air tends to sink, and when it sinks and lowers, the air tends to be dry, and that tends to limit daily thunderstorm development, which we can sometimes see when it is hot and humid under a heat dome. They are most prolific during the summer months due to longer days and more direct sunlight, but also because of the strength of the jet stream. The position of the jet stream oftentimes does not change as readily and as often as it does, say, during the cold weather months. During the summer months, when jet stream winds tend to relax, sometimes we can see the position of the troughs and ridges set up in a given area and tend to hold for a while. While heat domes can linger in regions for days to even weeks, eventually they will break down. We could start to get some uh, features to penetrate this and eventually push cooler air in. In other cases, the position of the ridge can change and start to build up some humidity, which can at least lead to some daily thunderstorms, which can trim temperatures. So, you know, they can't go on forever. For AccuWeather, I'm meteorologist Tony Lawback.